own Fannie Willis. You got Georgia State rep Misha Maynard suing Fannie Willis. Watley. My last name is W-H-A-T-L-E-Y. I'm the father of Casey Watley, who's been incarcerated in Fulton County Jail for five years now. And as we're starting to see, there's a pattern of corruption within the district attorney's office. My son, um, like I say, has been, been incarcerated five years. The attorney he had was a current, uh, D, I mean, a, a prior di district attorney who had worked with Fannie Willis previously. Um, they came back and stated that my, they found evidence in my son's case after there was no evidence. They came back and said they found evidence and they had found fingerprints. Well, it came to find out in court that that was a lie. They said a second testing had been done and my son's fingerprints were found on the scene and that was a lie. He, the attorney, uh, Daryl Korn, tried to get my son to take a 20-year plea deal by falsifying evidence. And as you can see, corruption is just running rampant within Fulton County Jail. It's time for something to be done, man. We got to do something. Y'all allowing these kids to be locked up, knowing that lady is corrupt. She spent the money that was meant to help the kids, and then she recoded. She recoded all the young people after she spent the money that was meant to help them, to create a, a safe environment for them not to have to be out here in these games. Now let's ask her what she did with that money. It's time to do something to clean up Fulton County. We're not talking about tomorrow. We need to start today. You got over 800 people in that jail who shouldn't be there. Haven't been indicted. They won't take them to trial. How is that justice? And you know what the crazy thing is? Fulton County sit back and watch it. This is so unfortunate. You can tell that this man is speaking from the heart. And with everything that's going on in the world and um, all the trials and that's going on with Fannie Willis in Fulton County, this right here breaks my heart for sure. Just sitting in jail for no reason, spending the tax money that you're supposed to use to help aid these individuals on your lavish lifestyles and basically paying somebody to screw you. You know what I'm saying? While delaying these trials and becoming a millionaire, essentially having thousands of dollars uh, that you, uh, on, on hand in your crib, that way you can make purchases without them being traced. Like it's a lot of corrupt shit going on behind the scenes. This father's son has been incarcerated for five years. He, they won't let him go to a trial. They not trying to give him no sort of plea, anything like that. They just have him sitting on the bench, essentially in jail, just riding this whole wave out. For what reason? We don't know. I will say this though, just to be fair, I don't know what his son is in jail for. Uh, I don't know, you know, the nature of the situation at all. So I want to make sure y'all know that. And you wonder where all that money is going? I uh, appreciate Cricket out for this. From the NY Post, Fannie Willis grilled during hearing over the amount of money spent on prosecuting Trump case instead of county's backlog of criminal cases. Hmm. Okay. You see, now we see where the money is going, right? Uh, CalCert, well, some of the money at least. CalCert criticized Willis for the amount of money spent on prosecuting the Trump case after, uh, rather, I mean, rather than tackling the county's backlog of criminal cases. Republican Senator Bill CalCert also asked financial officers about numerous, quote, enhancement requests, end quote, for extra money Willis has made including one for roughly a million dollars in 2023 for general trial experience expenses. The question that he proposes, is, do you think she will be held accountable? Do y'all think so? And let's not forget that Fannie Willis did admit under oath uh, that she was breaking the campaign finance laws. I, if memory serves, when she was being questioned about the cash <coughs> she kept in her house, um, she also uh, referenced something about, well, you know, that was money left over from the last campaign. Like, yeah. did this woman just admit to, like, campaign <laughs> finance? 
like fraud. Yeah, she like, definitely like, admitted to campaign finance fraud. And then she also said yeah. that she doesn't store money in a in a bank account because it's a black thing. She says that yeah. keeping cash is a black thing, so she keeps gas. So let's go ahead, <laughs> play the first clip of me By confronting way, her. I, I'm the one who never has cash. Um, you know, I right. wish I did because you need it a lot down here in Palm Beach with like parking and stuff. But it's like, you know, that's that's just laughable. You know, I don't know anybody that really carries cash. Not only that, let's take it all the way back when she said that she we shouldn't condone people and. Uh, as a district attorney who sleeps with employees and all that. But you know, that's this age horribly. Because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees. To it. Did you or did you not by May the 30th, <clears throat> 2023, have had sexual relations with Miss Willis, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. You also said that he was a world traveler and been on many of the continents. Have, been to six. Have you been on any of those continents with him? Um, Besides this one. Uh, where's Belize? What continent is that? I'm not being funny. I don't know. Uh, Let's say with the I've exception been to of the Be Belize with him. I've been to the Bahamas with him. I've been with Aruba with him. Don't embarrass me. I'm not sure what continents those are on. Whatever continents those are. Uh, I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign. I kept some of the cash of that. I'm asking if you have any proof that you paid for money. I mean, the money. proof is what I just told you. You have no written proof. Is that correct? this bill came in did you ever pay him anything other than cash i've only given him cash a few times in, in the course of what we're talking about so you never we would go to dinner let, let her finish her answer if we would go to dinner i wouldn't give him <laughs> cash because he paid for dinner or i paid for dinner i've given him cash only a few times in life probably four okay. probably the most money i've ever handed him is twenty five hundred dollars the least amount of money i've handed him probably between five hundred and a thousand dollars you never wrote him a check Ma'am, I don't have checks. Okay. I don't have to sit here and try to convince you. That's not my job here uh, in, in the kingdom. Like, you know, we don't sit here and, oh, you should think this. You should think. Hey, listen to her talk. She's literally snitching on herself. <laughs> what other proof do you need? That's why this Misha Minor, Maynard, I'm sorry, um, District 54 filing lawsuit uh, uh, against Willing, uh, Willis is something that the people are sitting back going yo she deserved to be removed from office for these antics not only that y'all it says that georgia senators find little oversight over how Fannie willis spends taxpayers dollars like the wild west it says georgia lawmakers heard testimony friday that caused one republican senator to express concern that there's a little oversight of how fulton county district attorney Fonnie willis uses her 36.6 million dollar budget uh state senator bill cowser the republican representing uh athens and chairman of the committee questioned fulton county commissioner rob pitts and fulton county chief financial officer sharon whitmore uh, about how the da's office receives and spends its funds well we've been seeing and hearing <laughs> the witnesses testify that willis has broad disurrection uh i mean discretion i'm sorry look at me y'all fumbling to play has broad discretion over those taxpayer dollars including whether to hire a special prosecutor and how much they should be paid let's go ahead and tap into this video real quick y'all sounding to me kind of like uh the wild west very little control from fulton county over a 36 million dollar budget you don't know how much of that is spent on professional services who is hired how much they're paid per hour what their total compensation is yet you're being asked to provide 36.6 million a year that you know encompasses uh, a number of those type of independent contractors that you know, you're funding with no oversight or control right yeah the board of commissioners has no oversight over the um, district attorney so your only control is the power of the purse whether you fund continue funding money uh, that can be used for those purposes or whether you restrict that funding is that fair chairman pitts i guess that's really your question so could you repeat that Jim? so your only control is the power of the purse is either granting or rejecting 
request for additional funding from the DA's office. That's correct. Okay. And that has to be based upon assurances presented to you by the DA as to why she would need particular amounts of funding? Right. The, the, the DA can come before the board and, and make a request at any time. And we, you know, we would consider the request, and if we agree, then we'll grant it. Right. If we disagree, then we won't grant it. And in that request, do you require her to uh, give some specifics, you know, some who I want to hire, why I need to hire somebody, how much I want to pay them, what's going to be the cap on there? We don't service. get into that 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 sort of detail. I mean, she'll make a uh, would make a case as to why uh, the need is there and what it would cost. But as far as individual names and 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 what would be what the compensation for a given individual individual would be, uh, we don't get that kind of detail. Nor do we ask it. Did uh, D. A. Willis ever make a request? for specific funding for a special assistant DA, prosecuting DA uh, for the, these, uh, for Mr. Wade? Not to my knowledge yet. Uh, and is, is her position that she doesn't have to ask or, or provide that information to the county in order to make a supplemental funding request? Well, again, the uh, with respect to the special prosecutor that's solely the purview of the district attorney uh, unlike the outside counsel All right. but you fund the district attorney based upon her stated needs or her request for funding right correct okay. in her budget request does she have a category four special prosecutors I don't recall saying a special category Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I, I guess I would have to say that she, she as have prior district attorneys, um, uh, have asked for resources, um, trial expense resources right. without it being specific to X amount for a, a special prosecutor or um, X amount for expert witnesses or, you know, things like that. I think that it's been more like, um, we, we know we have these major, um, prosecutorial matters that will be moving forward and will require, you know, additional, additional resources. But it, I don't recall there being any specific line item details necessarily associated with that you don't know how much money is being spent on professional services or who is hired none of that y'all don't know none of that y'all don't know who's being paid by the hour how much they getting paid none of this y'all just giving her the money and giving anybody the money uh also just asking for like yo no oversight or control whatsoever on how these taxpayer dollars are being regulated yeah man there's something fishy going on nobody believes this okay nobody believes that the white house or the mainstream media's rhetoric is correct how they trying to use propaganda to get us to believe that these four criminal cases that are presented before trump aren't coordinated um by biden <laughs> I'm talking about the ones presented from Fannie Willis, Alvin Bragg, Jack Smith, Letitia James. Come on, man. These are all witch hunts right now, synchronized and time at the perfect time. I'll just leave it at that.